Jack Ashton has mentored and taught youth in Utah communities for decades, influencing countless young people in the world of classical music, skills he perfected throughout his illustrious career as a violinist in the Utah Symphony. Three words to describe Jack. I would say musician. Patient. Reasonable. Exacting. Precise. Generous, fine, and fabulous. An expert at what he does. So Jay is for jokes, always telling jokes. He's a joy to be around. A is for an awesome musician. C, I think of his Christ-like qualities. He's concerned about people, he's loving, and he remembers those who were in his orchestra years and years ago, but he still has an interest in them. K, he is kind-hearted, knowledgeable, knowingly one of the very best conductors any musician could play for. And that's why I think we come back year after year. So Jack and I go way back. I'm probably the ghost of Christmas past. He was my violin teacher decades ago. My mother, Marilyn Sidaway, just was dear friends with him, played with him, loved him. He actually taught one of our daughters violin and then convinced her to change to viola. How are lightning and a violist the same? They never strike the same place twice. It was actually Jack that got me to play viola. I came, I started at Olympus in 1984 playing violin. There were no violas, and so he's like, hey, do you want to come play viola? And I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. And it, and it was probably the best decision I did for my life, my career. And so again, I, I give Jack 100% of that credit. Um, there's so many memories of Jack. I've known Jack for so long through high school and now that we've done this I feel like I'm back in high school every time I'm back in his presence so it feels like I'm constantly going back to my 16 year old self. Favorite memory of Jack, we played the 12 Days of Christmas in Chamber Orchestra. I was on the piano and on one of the verses because each verse had a funny little motif that would go with it. I decided to sit on the piano and just kind of smash the keys um, and Jack ended up titling, calling it the five octave spread. I guess my favorite memory of Jack is him leading the youth orchestra, which you can only imagine on a local setting was very small. This is my souvenir from high school in Jack's orchestra. We designed this as seniors. Um, the first side has, uh, you don't know Jack, and um, then on the back, it says, get off my Bach. And that, this was a very popular um, piece of attire for a lot of the, it sold out. It, sold out. it, it sold like hotcakes. It's when I finally had my own kids, uh, Christian Grace and Annika, who played in his orchestras. And my daughter Annika got to go to Europe with him. And I loved getting photos, videos of, of the YACP performances all through Vienna, Paris, and Europe. So my favorite memory of Jack was touring Europe. So we did that with the Rocky Mountain, I don't even remember the name, but uh, I'm sure he's been on many tours to Europe. I was on one of those and really enjoyed being there with him. This is my one and only photo of Jack, but it's a good time when we were on tour in California. We went to Disneyland. And my best memory of Jack is him telling me all the time that I needed an Italian boyfriend so that I could emote more on my violin. He's funny. Funny? Funny. Whether it's a mistake or some miscommunication or something like that, instead of building the tension, he's able to just cut through that with a little humor. And that's something I've seen over the years that really has been an endearing quality. Favorite Jack joke is probably from this morning when he starts breathing heavily into the microphone and imitating Darth Vader. And... Luke Skywalker, I know what you're getting for Christmas. Oh, how do you know that, Darth? I have built your presents. Jack has very high expectations, and because he's a professional violinist, uh, he has just, the orchestra has just been elevated because of his expertise. He's just, is so good at getting what he wants from an orchestra. He was so enthusiastic, and he, he just 
Dre got every little bit of music out of us that he possibly could. That was fantastic. Let me tell you what happened. One time Jack was encouraging us to play better and he told the story of you make yourself a bowl of crispy cornflakes, pour the milk in and the phone rings. Ten minutes later you come back and you stick your spoon into a tub of mush. Now that was a very gentle way of telling us that we were playing, we were sounding like a tub of mush. I guess my favorite thing about Jack is how he expects a lot, but then he's always willing to draw that out of you. The times that I've been maybe a little bit behind tempo or something hasn't worked out right, he's told me directly, which I appreciate. It's like, yeah, okay, that works. And then I think about it and go, okay, I could see where that passage was too slow or you know, not exactly right. And so I appreciate his desire that he has to make it better and better year by year. So he's, he's demanding, but he's also very kind. I know that he genuinely cares about each and every person, but he wants them to be their very best. But it's just, it's just comforting to know that he's there and to know that as long as Jack's the one in front, everything's going to be okay. We're going to make it through. I just think through the years, I've done this for five years now, it just seems that his infectious kindness and love is just shown through everything that he does. But one of my favorite memories is in the midst of the Christmas season one year, we got a, a, a doorbell ring and open up and here's Jack with a plate full of homemade fudge for us because he makes fudge and he brought some over. Thought he, he would want to share that with us. I love him, I love his, his, his passion, his commitment and his love of music and particularly this music in this community. I will, I will always appreciate having rubbed shoulders with him in this experience. I had a dream the other night and in this dream, these young people, all these students who I taught came back and they were we were seeing each other and I was seeing them as young people and but they had been playing and had families the rejoicing that went on that dream was so beautiful thank you Jack for being with us in this wonderful event for so many years we really appreciate and love you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jack, for all of your years of dedication. For all that you have done for our community. The fun of growing up and having you lead us and teach us. Thank you, Jack, for all you've done for all these years. Jack, thank you. We could have never done any of this without you. You are a saint, and we owe a lot to you. Thank you for all the years that you've, you've devoted your, your time and your talent for this. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being part of our community. God bless you. What a contribution you've made. We love you. Surely the Lord must be pleased, Jack, with all you've given.